The key to a proper pump setup is to making sure you have uh, the right fit. You have to have the right amount of pumping power for the size of the basket that you have. You have to make sure that your basket's not too small for the amount of pumping that you have. And we run into that problem with this setup all the time. You know, we joke around that, you know, basement waterproofing, there's nothing too uh, provocative about it. You know, it's not like the sports car in the driveway. So they need to get some kind of sizzle. One of the ways that companies sometimes do it is they put an enormous amount of pumping power, which isn't bad, but they put it all in one spot. What happens is the water's going to be evacuated so fast, the pump's going to go off, and it will always be running in what we call its, its stress cycle. Let me show you what I mean. The way that this system is set up is you have one pump going in like this and another pump going in like this. And if you look down into the basket, it fills up the entire basket. It doesn't leave that much room for water to accumulate around the pumps. That's a problem. It's kind of like that in, in the summertime, you're real thirsty and you fill a glass, you pack it with ice, and you put iced tea in and you take it in two sips, all the iced tea is gone because the ice took up all the room. Well, these pumps act like the ice cubes and they fill up the whole basket. So when water collects around it, there's very little water with this much pumping power, and this is a whole lot of pumping power here. When it does initiate, the water's gone immediately. Here's where the problem comes from. 99% of the wear and tear on a pump is through the initial cycle when it first turns on. The water hasn't cycled through the pump, cooling the pump, lubricating the pump, and causing it to run with much less stress. Once it cycles and the water's flowing through the pump, keeping it cool, keeping it lubricated, the stress level drops down to nothing. If you took a, uh, a pump and threw it in the deep end of a swimming pool, it would run for 10 or 20 years as long as it was just continuously running and not stopping and starting going through that real stressful cycle part of it. So what happens with this is that very little water is needed to initiate the pumps. So when the water collects, turns them on, shh, boom, the water's evacuated, pump goes off, water accumulates in around it again, very quickly initiates the pump, water's evacuated very fast, goes off, water accumulates around it, and this cycle goes on and on. The best way to do this is to have it set up so that enough water can accumulate around the pump so that when it does initiate, the pump will run for a significant amount of time and get rid of all that water under one cycle as opposed to getting rid of the same amount of water under maybe 10 or 15 cycles with a setup like this.